abdominal squats. All right. This is assuming that a warm up has already happened. <laughs> your warm up is happening. You're good to go. You've done your walk. You've done your stretches. You're good to go. We've got eight sumo squats. So it's three rounds of everything. We've got eight sumo squats, eight push ups, eight crunches. That's what we're going to do today. All right. So, what you're going to do for your sumo squat is you're going to point your feet 45 degrees each way and spread them wide. Okay? Traditional squat is knees are in line with the hips, feet are in line with the shoulders kind of deal, just right up the body. A sumo squat is going to take you out a little bit further. Okay? And my feet are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. I'm going to turn to the side so that you guys can see this. Now, you can put your hands here. If you have a weight, you can hold it here. You can hold it here wherever you feel comfortable, but I'm just going to do mine behind my head, or maybe I'll just do right here in front of my chest, just for your hands got to go somewhere, right? So we've got eight for the first round. When you sink down, there is no leaning over, all right? When you come down into the squat, do y'all see how my upper body really, it's really just nice and straight. It's not over, leaning, coming back up. We're right here for eight, and you're going to push through your heels on the way up, okay? So you're here, sinking down, pushing through the heels for eight. So that was four, five, six, seven, and eight. That was round one. Round one sumo squats, done. Next move is a push-up. You can do these from your feet. I'm gonna do the modified today because that's what I feel like doing, okay? Um, but simply, essentially what you're going to do is come into a kneeling position. You can also do this standing up. So say if you just don't want to get on the ground at all, you can pick a couch and do like an incline push up, or you can pick a wall and you can just simply move your body in and move your body out with the wall. Same muscle engagement, less of an impact on your shoulders, your wrists, whatever the case may be. All right. So, second move, push-ups. Your wrists are right in line with your shoulder. Direct line all the way up. All right, and y'all see how my torso is nice and straight. We're not doing this. All right, drop that torso towards the ground. You want a straight line, okay? You're gonna go down and up for eight. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? That's the push-ups, round one for eight. Next move is your crunches on the ground. You can also do sit-ups. I'm doing the modified version for today, all right? Crunches. For the crunches, you wanna make sure your back is in line, is in touch with the floor. We don't want to be arching up and doing anything crazy. Your back stays in touch with the ground. You're lifting your shoulder blades off of the floor, okay? I want my chin to be facing the ceiling. I want to continue to keep my chin up. No digging with your chin, all right? We want it to be up, come up and squeeze, back down, okay? Chin is up, no tucking. Lift those shoulders off the ground. Back down, you've got eight. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right? So you notice that I'm not like, you know, <laughs> I'm sure that looks crazy, but I'm not rushing. I'm up, I squeeze, I release. I'm up, I squeeze, I release, all right? You wanna be intentional about engaging your as much of your core as possible, okay? And that was round one. That's round one. I mean, how easy can it be, right? That's, that is how easy it is, okay? All right, so let's go to round two. Y'all, this literally could take you 10 minutes to do, okay? Yes, that's why your neck hurts always after. Tucking your chin, it's like you're trying to get that momentum to swing your body up, chin up, and just tighten. It's about tightening your core, all right? It's not about 
getting the momentum to go up. All right, so round two, round two, sumo squats. We just got eight. Hands can go here, hands can go here, or you can hold a weight here, or you can just hang your hands here. Sometimes I like to do that to try and challenge myself to get a little lower, but you go to what feels comfortable. I'm going low because I've been doing sumo squats for a long time. Some people just need to come here for a little bit. That's okay as well. On the way up, you wanna make sure you squeeze at the back, Put those glutes nice and tight and engaged, and then release and go back down. All right, we've got eight. There we go, pushing through the heels, right here, pushing through those heels on the way up. Chest is nice and proud, I'm not leaning over, I'm right here, nice and proud, looking at the wall. Pushing through those heels, I think this is eight. Round two, all right. Now you'll notice I'm not really taking a whole lot of rest. We're working a different muscle group. Your legs are gonna rest while your arms are working. Your arms are gonna rest while your core is working. You can take a break at the end of the round altogether. All right, so here we are. Back with the push-up. Remember your modifications. You can do it from a wall. You can do it from a couch. And hit an incline with me, okay? Everybody get set. If you're joining with me, if not, Watch me do it. <laughs> All right, we got one. Chest goes to the ground. My body is nice and straight. I'm not leaning over like this, doing my push-ups this way. I let my hips sink in, down, and up. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then we go to our crunches. Don't even have to get up. All right, feet are on the ground. I don't necessarily, I mean, holding your legs up, crossing them, all that good stuff. Keep your feet straight on the ground. Don't complicate it, all right? I prefer it this way because it makes sure that only my core is getting the movement as opposed to doing a lot of moving with my lower body. Back stays in contact with the ground, hands behind your head, lift the shoulder blades up. Chin stays towards the, the ceiling. Up and squeeze, and back down. Up and squeeze, and back down. It's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, I'm gonna stand. This would be where you could take your 30 to 60 second rest if you needed one but the moves are meant to be in a circuit style. So squats, get on the ground, push-ups. Push-ups, turn it around, crunches, okay? Crunches or, or the sit-ups. Not a whole lot of rest in between there, okay? And let's go through the last round. Last round here, super easy. Sumo squats, we've got eight. Pushing through those heels. Keeping that, keeping those, uh, keeping that chest nice and proud. Good. Good, we got seven and eight. You should be feeling it now, so no need to even break. You're gonna go straight into your push-ups on the ground for eight. Nice, all right. Last one, again, minimal rest if you can help it. We've got our crunches right here. Feet are on the ground, back is in line or in touch with the floor. Hands beside your head, we're lifting the shoulder blades up and squeeze right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. And that's day one, y'all. Day one, super, super easy.